I'm floating. Talk about being down to earth. Am I right? <laughs> What's up, everyone? My name's Kei Pang, and welcome to Something Bad is on the Moon. This is a horror game that takes place in space. <laughs> takes place in space. <laughs> I should become a rapper. Let's do this. Ooh. December 19, 1972 marked the date of the last publicly disclosed moon landing. Since then, eight classified lunar missions were authorized in absolute secrecy. Well, I just read. I found the video recording which instigated those classified missions. Something is on the moon. All right, what? Please tell us. By the way, nice haircut. And somehow, when I saw this footage last week, I think it noticed me. Recorded December 20th, 1972. Final public lunar mission, Lieutenant Marcus Rents. Base. This is Houston. You are go for EVA. Please confirm status of your suit systems and PLSS before proceeding to the equipment site. Mm. Over. Yeah, Roger. Roger. Roger that, Houston. This is Tranquility. Suit systems are green across the board. PLSS is operating within nominal parameters. Preparing to egress the LM. Over. Oh! Copy Tranquility. Take your first steps carefully. Oh, wow. The radar receiver at radar site November has recently failed. Its last telemetry sweep before your EVA noted a transient signal. 1500 miles southwest of your position. Likely a sensor echo. What was that? With manual receiver reset. Over. What's that on the horizon? Did you see that? Reminds me of my last walk on the lunar surface. Solitude. Something the was on the horizon, Commander. No. The human brain craves faces. And the like a makes me see them skull. In the hills. Moving towards the waypoint now. Over. Okay, so right now we're playing classified footage. It's funny, Apollo 11 was the only mission where no one said they saw faces in the rock. Must be hard to think about anything else when you're the first people to ever touch the moon, I suppose. Ever since then, someone on every lunar mission has mentioned it. Over. Uh -huh. Over. I get it. Oh, bro. Copy, Houston. I'll make sure to inform you if any little green men pop out of the ground and eat me. Until then, though, I'm en route to the radio installation. Over and out. Over and out. But I'm going to moonwalk all the way to my destination. Do you see those skulls? Something ain't right here. They didn't look green to me. No, uh No, they did not. But man, look at this. We're in outer space. Freaking particle effects. I don't know where the earth is. Maybe it's behind us, but dude, look at all the stars. Isn't that amazing? Man, I remember as a child, I wanted to become an astronaut. I think I was like, four years old i do believe it's probably every child's dream at some point to just go into space until you start to learn a little bit more and the education starts and you see that your grades are so not good your intellectual ability has to be so good to be able to go to the moon it's just like oh there is a lot that is required and then you're just like, maybe it's best I just wait until, like, space is just open to the public. Alright, nothing in the distance. Alright, good to see. Nothing scary, no green people 500 meters away. I'm floating a... Talk about being down to earth, am I right? I'm on the moon. <laughs> Tranquility, be advised, another lunar radar installation, 2300 miles east. Reported a brief unidentified object crossing the lunar horizon, then went dark. Similar profile to your anomaly. It's puzzling, but proceed as planned. Over. It's quite steep here. Copy. When I reach the radar, I'll make an assessment of the receiver's functionality. Damn. Tell me, though, what is believed to be the source of the radar signatures? Oh, 
please tell us. Copy tranquility. Current theory is high velocity micrometeoroid, or uh -huh. possibly debris. Anomalous, but not unprecedented. Maintain focus on your objective. Over. All right, over and out. I'm Roger almost that, there. Houston. I have to admit that this situation has put me a bit on edge. I think I've been seeing things that aren't really there. Maybe just reflections off my visor. He sees it. Keep staring at the hills. Over. Okay, so I wasn't just Frank seeing Lincoln. things. We I'm glad he acknowledged it. Stay calm and focus on fixing like the receiver. You'll get some rest soon. Update us when you reach the radar site. Over and out. You know, once we actually then start to interact with that signal over there, something bad's gonna happen. Just find out that it's freaking transformers. And not the good ones. Would be the Decepticons. There it is. And nothing in sight that seems out of the ordinary yet. Nope. Uh, nada. All right. Well, this is going to be easy. Well, we're almost going to be done. We're hopefully going to go back home to see our lovely parents and family. And be like, hey, just went to space, to the moon, no big deal. I was moonwalking, showing off my I've skills, to the, radar site. To the hallucinations of the horizon. Roger, tranquility. We need you to assess the condition of the receiver and run a system reboot. After the reboot completes, stand by, as we will need to ensure that the reboot fixes the system. But be advised over the last few minutes, almost all lunar installations have experienced significant technical problems. The cause is currently unknown. Over. Okay, Houston. Something about this situation just isn't right. The receiver looks perfectly fine to me. No damage at all. All diagnostics are green, but the receiver is failing to detect any return signatures. I'll reboot the system now. Is it just all open? Order tranquility. Update us if the situation changes. Over. Like, is it possible for me to just go out in the horizon? <laughs> Care to be straight, Commander. If I do find alien life here, what are the chances of me actually getting out? <laughs> Man, this sucks. Running out of oxygen, I can barely see anything. Vision fuzzy. <sighs> Stamina failing. I really had a dream of exploring the moon and other planets. Guess it's just gonna be the moon. Yeah. Man, this sucks. Dying on a rock. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. All right. Oh man, it's raining right now. Okay. System reset. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It's just space. How is my radar is operational tranquility well done? I'm seeing the scans on my screen right now. It looks good. Um, tranquility. I'm picking up a small object traveling in your direction right now. It's moving fast, very fast. I cannot get a read on the exact speed. Patching into your HUD now. It's 2,250 miles away. Please return to the capsule. What the? I just paused it. What the heck just happened? Tranquility. Oh, tranquility. Tranquility. We need you to stay where you are. Please do not move. You uh, are safe here. You are, are safe. Who? You are safe here. We need you to stay where you are. Please uh, do not move. You are safe uh, here. Something ain't right. Tranquility, the command module has begun its journey back to Earth. 
Place. Why is it getting dark? Stay where you are, stay calm. And we will recover you shortly. Ah, I didn't even press record on my camera. What the heck is that? What the heck? Why is the music playing? Oh my gosh, my camera's all messed up. Get straight! <sighs> Alright, I think it's all good. There's a meteor coming. It's the Decepticons! Oh my gosh. Is that the sun? Alright. Let's just get this done and just with. Come on. <laughs> And my game just closes. Okay, I think that's the reason why I'm probably not gonna go to space ever. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. As always, boys, my name is K-Pang, and I'll see you guys next time.